number of people that a ham can serve, I think P for people or N for number, varies directly as the weight of the ham. So that tells us we're going to have P is directly related KW to the weight. How many people? Oh, then it says an eight pound ham feeds 20 people. So P is 20 equals K for the weight 8. Dividing by 8, we get 20 over 8. And reducing that fraction divided by 4 over 4, we get 5 halves. So that tells us um, that we can write a general equation here of P is equal to 5 halves W. Now let's solve the second part of this problem. How many people will a 10 pound ham serve? Well, 10 pounds is the weight, so P will equal 5 halves times 10. That's 50 over 2, so that will be 25 people. How many people will a 15 pound ham serve? Well, P will equal 5 halves times 15 which will be 75 over 2, which is 37.5. Now you cannot serve a half of a person, and we have to choose whether to round up or down. In this case, we're going to round down to 37, and the reason here is um, we want to round down to have more food than people. If we throw that 38th person in, we may use up too much food and not everybody will get enough. <coughs> How many people will an 18 pound ham serve? Okay, this is pretty much the same thing, isn't it? P is equal to 5 halves times 18. 2 cancels with 18, leaving 9 times 5. So the answer is 45 people. If a ham feeds 30 people, oh, finally we get a substitute in P. What is the weight? We're going to have 5 halves W. And we can solve this equation by multiplying through on both sides by 2. So that will give us 60 is equal to 5W after those 2's cancel. And so W will equal 12 pounds. The resistance of a wire, that will be R for resistance, varies directly as the length and inversely as the square of its diameter. Okay, here we go. R for resistance varies, there's our equals K, directly with the length, so I'll use L for the length, and inversely with a square of the diameter, so that will be D squared. There's our basic relationship. Now it says a 50 foot wire. Okay, that is going to be the length for 50. We're going to be solving for K with a 0.2 inch diameter. So 0.2 squared in the denominator has a resistance of 0.0125 ohms. <clears throat> Let's go through and simplify the right hand side. 0.0125 is equal to 1250K when you divide that on your calculator. And we will then find that K is equal to 1 ten thousandth, 0 0.00001. That means we can substitute that back up into the top and rewrite our equation as R equals 0 0.0001L divided by D squared. Now find the resistance when 40 feet of wire, okay, R equals 0 0.0001 times 40 feet with a diameter of 0 0.1 getting squared. We do that out in our calculator and we find out that R is equal to 0 0.04 ohms which is denoted with the omega symbol.